In the last lesson, we looked at how we can parse, we can add in multiple objects within this main object and still have some valid JSON data. Uh, so now we need to update how we're dealing with our response text. So again, remember that this response text is the content that is being sent back from the JSON file. So this is what the Ajax is reading in and we're defining it as this value, this variable. And we have to parse it out so it's in a JSON, uh, so we know that this is in a JSON object formatted format. Instead of just the plain text format that's being returned back from the Ajax call. Uh, so now we need to update some of this. Uh, so we can't just do jcontent first name. Because we don't know exactly which uh, piece of content we want to return back, uh, we need to loop through it. So for variable and setting up a brand new variable. Uh, so I'm going to set it up my object and we're going to return back all the my objects in j content. So everything that's being returned back there and this is what we're going to loop through. And so now I'm going to update that output dot inner html and I'm just going to add to uh, that current output section. So I'm not going to overwrite it, I'm going to add to it, so that's why I've got the plus equals. So this is short for uh, the same thing as doing output.innerHTML equals output.innerHTML plus whatever I wanted to add into it. So here I can do jcontent. So same thing that I've got over here for the first name, but because we're uh, looping through all of that jcontent information, I need to just select whatever object uh, value that is. So my object. So to see which one that is within that returned data. And then of course I want to add in a line break there so that we don't have it all cluttered together. And lastly I want to update this so that we clear out any content that's existing. And maybe I'll console log out the my object so we can have a better idea of actually what's uh, sitting within this variable and what we're returning here within that J content. Uh, and then whatever we're returning here, obviously we can just place by default within here as well um, as a value to return specific content. So when I refresh it, so I see all of those different, um, those different returned values. And we see alternatively here that we've got the main object name. So we've got user1, user2, user3, and user4. So that is the value that's being contained within the my object. So if I wanted to do something like this and simply copy that out first, uh, so again it was returning it via the user4 and just show you what that's going to look like. So my question is, do you think that this is going to work? Are we going to return that user for name first and then loop through it uh, and then uh, return that last one? Do you think this is going to work? It's going to throw an error. What do you think is going to happen here in that first part? So we're going to actually get five items returned and we've just taken that value from the fourth one. So if you said that it's going to work and we're going to get the value of Jack, you're correct. Uh, and as we see here how the looping through is working, that it's just getting these object names and it's just inputting them in between that bracketed area and that helps us identify which part of the object, the JSON object, that we want to output. So it's working within the same format and if we actually knew all of the names ahead of time, we wouldn't have to loop through it. So that's something to keep in mind and to see how this actually works and fits together within JSON, AJAX, and outputting content via JavaScript into HTML.